Hey guys and gals, and here from Drake Wing Gaming, and some of you mounts, one of the gaming dragon today, I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class, Coach Gill's Path. So, uh, a couple of y'all have told me that there's a new update out for Coach Gill, and I think that's for the Patreon only. I'm, I do not subscribe to the Patreon. I'm on the free tier, so, yeah, I can only do what has been released to the public so far. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right back into that. Alarm, Shandy, we're up, and let's -a go We on? Right here, maybe? Yeah. Wait, maybe? Wait, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, right there. Okay. Oh, yeah! How'd you like the Ramune? Ah, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I should do it now. I put it inside the icebox. Let's see. A rush of refreshing and chilly air blew on your arms when you opened the icebox. There are a lot of carbonated drinks in it. Did Mark buy all these drinks? Ah, there's my drink. The bottle was a little different than what you were used to. Once you removed the seal, instead of looking at the usual bottle cap, you were greeted by a green cap. What am I supposed to do with this? Upon thorough inspection, you noticed that the center of the green cap could be pushed down. So you did, and the centerpiece fell out. Now what? Nothing here makes sense. Maybe you should try asking Torahiko. Strong, independent man. I think I can figure it out. It seems like it can be used to push whatever's in the middle of the, bo of the blue cap. You pushed the marble-like thing with the green stuff using your palm, and sure enough, the marble fell down. Huh? What's this marble for? That's to seal the bottle! Huh? You know I can see what you've been doing for me, right? Heh, <laughs> of course. I forgot he was here for a second. Well, you enjoy your Amune. I actually need to make a phone call to my old man. Ah, okay. Take care, Tora. Will do. Ugh, I'm hungry. And tired. Man, Coach Kill really worked our asses off. I should put that Ramune aside and drink it and drink it later. For now. For now. You plopped yourself down on the beach towel while the sand the sand softened your landing. Good thing there's a parasol above me. Some would have blinded me. Ugh. So sleepy. And hungry. Hmm. How long have I been sleeping? Probably half an hour. Coach Gill? Your reaction is fu is always fun to witness. Ah! Oh, everyone's here. It's lunchtime, and we were just waiting for you to wake up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry for making us wait. Shush, we just got here. Don't make things up. I'll get our lunch. Thanks, Anders. Don't mention it. Anders was back with several stacks of packed lunch. Why did you bring it like that? You could have just used a bag or something to make your life easier. Ah, uh, you're right. You noticed that there was one container that looked different than the others. Uh, why is that one so big? That's mine! <laughs> hey, you should eat less, you're getting fat. You don't have to tell me, you don't have to tell me like that. Compliment Mr. Parker, ask him to stop. Say nothing. Uh, poor Mr. Parker. Does it do anything? Heh. <laughs> Is it, does it do anything? No, it does not. Okay. No, you're not fat. You're perfect. Thank you, Henry. I appreciate that. You can be fat and beautiful at the same time, too. Remember that, Mr. Parker. Yes. In any case... Huh. In any case, I guess I was a little bit insensitive. I'm sorry, Parker. I shouldn't have said that. That's fine, really. All is well. Other than Mr. Parker's enormous container, there was another one that looked greener than the rest. How about that one? Ah, that's mine. I asked Mr. Stone to not include meat on mine and added more greens. That makes sense. Take it now. Coffee time. Don't drip on my keyboard, you bitch. Okay. Vegan! Boo! I'm not, though. True, true, vegetarian. Boo! I still eat meat. I'm just not too fond of it. Is this group always this rude? Can't you all just mind your own business? Let's just eat our lunch. You can tell that Lars had enough of their shenanigans, or was just hungry. Oh, you're just hungry, big kitty. You're not you when you're hungry. Thwack. Yikes, looks like it hurt. That should, that should talk to him not to mess with a big hunk with a hungry big kitty. Why me? Less talking, more eating. I haven't even got my food yet. 
How could you? That was funny as fuck! I admit that you're academically gifted, but your sense of humor is somewhat stale. No one is perfect, they say. <laughs> Once lunch was eaten, Mark suggested several rounds of a card game, so he pulled up a deck of offensive, risque playing cards. It had black and white cards, and you were expected to fill them in the blanks with cards you thought would make a funny joke. Yeah, I've played this game before. Mark made a joke that he thought was really funny, but in actuality was questionable at best. That was ten times in a row now. You guys are no fun! I don't want to play anymore! He tossed all the cards before he walked off by himself, and it was suddenly raining cards. Uh-oh, someone's upset again. You know the drill, he'll cool off by himself. I'll clean this up, no worries. I thought I was the one with anger issues. You're fine. I'll help you clean up. I'll help too. Thanks, both of you. Parker and I will go to the beach house and get, us, get something to drink. Okay, have fun you two. Does this happen often, Anders? You're talking about Mark. Yes. Eh, sometimes. He's a little bit childish at times. I'm sure you understand that, Coach Gill. I take that as an attack toward me. Heh, <laughs> you're welcome. How about you? What about me? How are you holding up at the uni? I'm bandaging. I don't know what happened, but I'm all ears if you need a vent. Or classmates too, you know. Exactly. You just need to know that you have friends that you can depend on. Yeah, I know. But I'm doing fine, honest. It's like, it's nothing compared to what I exper what I experienced. You and Mark, huh? You guys keep saying things without context. It's confusing me. <laughs> we just go back a long way. Well, that might be true, but you two are polar opposites. Like mag magnets, I suppose. You mean when a North Pole is introduced to a South Pole, they attract? Yeah. How are you two different, though? Well, um... I'll be blunt. Mark is one of the most problem Mark is one of the most problematic students. So is Anders in a way. But Mark is great at handling it, so he gets a free pass, you might say. And I'm not. Yeah, that's true. But that's rough, coach. Say get in front of me like that. Heh, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm used to it, don't worry. <laughs> One thing I noticed, you two are close. Have you known each other for a long time? You might say it like that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Do you know me then? No. Wow, so far I'm inconsistent. That hurt me a little. But you look so familiar to someone I used to talk with. Oh? His name was Hint. Something that sounded like a grape. H? C could it be my brother? Herbert? Oh, yeah, that that's it. Huh? You look flabbergasted. That's my twin brother's name! Ah, okay. You look surprisingly calm. What the heck? I figured. But I just don't want to make a baseless assumption. Oh. That's cool to think that you actually know my twin brother. It's a small world. I didn't know that either. Was he your classmate? Yeah, in elementary school, second year if I recall correctly. Didn't you know Henry as well? Ah, I think I was homeschooled around that time, actually. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I wasn't homeschooled until second year of elementary school. Thank you know, coffee time. Dunkin' Donuts has really good iced coffee. Holy shit. Alright. Huh, that fits with what you told me. You stopped visiting when I started elementary school. Anyway, we're getting distracted. Let's just clean up. Let's just clean this up. You're right. <sniffs> I think we're done here. Woo! Yay! Hmm? Why are you staring at Anders' other eyes? My other eyes? Nipples. I didn't know you have nipple piercings. Did it really take you that long to realize that? Hey, my eyes are up here! Ah, sorry. Did that hurt? A little bit, but now it's fine. It looks good on you. Thanks. Why did you get that, Anders? I thought it would look rather nice. No, that's not it. I can tell by looking at your face. Mark made me do it. Mark? How so? We were playing a game, and whoever lost had to get their nipple pierced. What kind of game did you, did you two play? Yeah. <laughs> anyway... Anything else you need help with, Anders? No, I'm gonna look for Mark now. Sure thing. Take care. See you too soon. You too, Anders. Heh, <laughs> it's only us here now. Don't do anything weird or I'll scream. I won't. I'm a little beat, so I'm gonna take it easy. Yeah, I'm gonna lie down a little bit. You gonna lie down, huh? Yeah? Then I'll read this magazine I bought from the beach house. What magazine is it? Beast Man's Health. Oh, I've seen it before. I often see my dad read those magazines. I appreciate it. they still sell printed magazines here. Reminds me of the good old days. As he said that, he stretched his muscles before lying face down. Hey, I'm supposed to lie down there. Well, it's not big enough for the both of us, so I thought I'd go prone, so you could lie down on me. Sounds uncomfortable. Not literally, silly. 
I don't like where this is going. <laughs> well, you said you're going to lie down, so here's some cushions for your head. He smirked as he patted his butt. Come and get it. He didn't know how to react to that, but you knew for sure that, he, that you died inside a little bit. Please don't say weird things like that. Uh, sure, I guess. I need to lie down anyway. What the hell? You thought it'd feel hard, but it was surprisingly soft. How is it? Please don't even ask. It's awkward. It sure was awkward, so you moved your head slightly toward his waist. Oh my. Hey, co hey, coach. What is it? It just occurred to me that you like to tease people. But from what I've seen so far, you haven't really touched the others like, you, like what you've done, been doing to me. Huh, I guess you finally realized it. Huh? Well, what do you mean? Nothing. <laughs> well? Well what? I wonder why that is. Isn't that obvious? I like you. <laughs> What's with that answer? That's what it is. It almost sounded like you were confessing to me. Do you want me to? Stop saying weird things. <laughs> but it's true, though. Then what do you think of me? What do I think of you? Hmm. You're not too bad. Heh, <laughs> I'll accept that. Oof, I got sand inside my pants. I gotta get up. Hey, Gil, Henry, up here. Tora? Well, what is it? Can you come here ASAP? We need, you, we need you to be here. Also, bring your stuff there. We'll be waiting in the beach house. Don't take too long. Okay. Should we go now, coach? Yeah, I don't see any reason for us to be here anymore. Ah, there you are. So you guys ready? Huh? Huh? Well, we're ready for what? Going back to Waterfront Village. What else? Huh? I wasn't aware of this. Did you realize that we made our reservations at Tor's Family Inn? I... Right. We did. I had so much fun that I forgot about that. Ha! <laughs> I'm glad you had fun. And give me a moment to get changed. Alright, take your time. Alright, I'm ready. Make sure all your belongings are with you before we leave. Hmm, I don't think I left anything here. How about the others? Everything is in my backpack. I didn't bring much, it's all here. All good. Guess that's all. What about Mr. Stone? Wait, you no. Know, water, uh, coffee time. Hmm. Man, this is some banging coffee. Jeez. Guess that's all. How about Mr. Stone? Everything's good. Great. Everyone, everything good to go then? Yeah, let's go back. By the time you reached Waterfront, everything had turned dark. You weren't aware of this during the trip because you were sleeping soundly. Here we are! Watch your steps, everyone! Finally, my ass was on the verge of giving out. What? Why? Why was your ass on the verge of giving out? Were you walking on your cheeks or something? Like the fucking devil from Cow and Chicken? Alright. I can make it more. I can make it more than giving out. What? <laughs> You can feel how awkward the situation was for Tora. Thank you for the ride, Tora. Don't worry about it. Wow, why are you being so nice all of a sudden? What? I'm always nice. I doubt it. Why am I always a subject to your bullying? Given the state, given the taste of your own medicine. Wow, so nice. I love my meds. <laughs> Don't run away, you little bull. Thanks, Tora. I'll see you later. Okay. Thank you, Tora. It was fun. You're welcome. Now enjoy your rest. You too. Ha! <sighs> Finally having a good look at this room. It looks pretty nice. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. And thank you to all the lovely patrons who have donated to us and are helping support the channel. Your generosity is most welcome. It's definitely helping us get through how expensive it was to freaking move here. So... Thank y'all so much. Y'all are really helping. Anyway, y'all, if you can, uh, check out the Patreon. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.